Hi, welcome back to my sewing vlog. I'm Natalie and this is the Seaside Sewist and this vlog is my recent mix. So I haven't put any of my makes on here since April. So this is May, June, July and August makes. Um, I hope you're sitting comfortably. I am. I've got a cup of tea. Why not grab one? Because this might be quite long. That's actually on its way to being cold now. But anyway, so I do have a list because there's quite a lot on there. I have made quite a lot. Um, so we'll dive right in. So in July, I went to the French sewing retreat and um, that's run by Size Me Sewing. And I wanted to make some things to wear during the day for that trip. So the first thing that I made, and I've got pictures of some of these and some pictures not, so work with me. The first thing I did was make three pairs of linen trousers and that was from this um, pattern, the Simplicity 8841. And there's three different trousers you can make. So there's just a wide leg um, with a belt. You can do a straight leg with the belt and then there's this cropped version that's got elasticated waist and these pockets or you can put inseam pockets in but you can sort of mix and match what you want to do so i made this version um without the belt and with an elasticated waist on there um and i used three different linens that i picked up from fabworks now the first pair I think I want it to be my best pair um, and they kind of went a bit wrong. I still wore them but they were quite tight. So I cut out my size. So the sizing goes from a 6 to a 22 and I measured in at a size 10. Um, I did inseam pockets and when I went to try them on, I had to eke them over my hips. Um, so the fit, and I did wear them, I wore them on, on a night, I think, when I went out one night with a little sort of vest top on. But... The, they're not something that I can wear continuously. I did even try just to unpick the sides and take them out slightly, but it just wasn't enough. Um, so the next two pairs that I made, I didn't bother to put the pockets in and these were in a very light pink linen and then a, like a cream linen. So I'll pop a picture of the pink linen in here now. The best fit was the cream ones. So when I go on holiday at the end of this week, we're off to Portugal. Um, I think I'm just going to take the elastic out of the waist of the pink ones and just tighten it slightly because it's just, it sits more on my lower waist rather than my natural waist. So I'm just going to bring that in a little bit. But they were lovely um, and cool on. And then I just popped a little top on with with them. And that was great. So as I said, I put a picture of the pink pair in and then there's a little group picture that we did here and you can see the cream pair, which I think were my favorite. Um, I, I did really enjoy wearing those on my holidays. The other two things that I made were Ogden camis. So, Noisy now. I've made the Ogden Cami so many times before. So the Ogden Cami is by True Bias and it is a camisole top with spaghetti straps. It goes from 
sizes 0 to 18 with a 0 being a chest of 32 inches waist of 26 and a hip of 34 and size 18 is a chest of 44 and a half inches a waist of 38 and a half and a hip of 46 and a half so i fall into their size six um and it's literally a simple blouse that can be worn on its own or as a layering piece under blazers and cardigans it has a soft v-neck at both centre front and centre back necklines um the neckline and armholes are finished with a partial lining so i made two of these um the first one I will put the picture in. So I made um, it in a fabric that I'm using for a lining for something else. Anyway, so I've paired this with the pink linen trousers that I made. So that was that kept me cool all day. That looked really nice. Um, I always widen the Ogden Cami straps because I like to wear a bra underneath mine. So I like the straps to cover my bra strap um, and it's something that I've adjusted my pattern pieces for. So you just adjust the strap but then you just adjust the pattern piece at the top here so it's wider so it sits in. Um, and the other one that I made, I'll just grab that. The other one that I made that I didn't get to wear but I'll take it on holiday is this um viscose with like hummingbirds on so this was also from fabworks and i've put a little carry in the machine um labeling which says made with love and swear words so see how i oh let's go off the hanger see how i widen the straps there um and that just then fits into into the bodice seamlessly so i really do like wearing those they're really cool on i think this is a bit more dressy so i might wear this on an evening with a pair of um leather look leggings or something like that and a little cardigan over the top but i do really like that pattern so that is what i made for france so the next thing I made was the Florence Boxy Tee by Size Me Sewing. I got this pattern in a D stash from Tamlin from Sewing on the Tine. So it's a knit, but you can actually make it in a woven. I've never done that, but it's for knit fabrics. Um, and it is literally just a boxy tee with, with sort of the sleeves are quite tight. So an oversized tee that gently hugs the arms, draping beautifully over the bust, it'll soon be a favourite to wear. Um, so you can make it in like cotton jersey or whatever. So this goes from a bust of 32 inches, a waist of 24 and a half, up to a bust of 50 and a waist of 42. For my size, it only took a metre of fabric and I had bought, again, um, a jersey from Fabworks but it's really high quality I think it's more like a bamboo jersey even though it wasn't advertised as being that and I bought it in a beautiful teal um I'll definitely make it again so this is a picture of me wearing that out so that picture was took at home but I did take this to France with me as well it's just really oversized but just really comfy and you can dress it up or down it's it's really really nice so I, I do love that and i will be making that one again the next thing that i made was a bit out there so i was inspired by the great british sewing bee um they upcycled tablecloths one week and so i bought um this simplicity 9702 dress pattern and literally use the top which has like a a tear here um i'll definitely make the dress because it's a lovely pattern 
but it's literally it's so it's um an empire dress it goes from sizes 8 to 26 with the 8 being a bust of 31 and a half inches waist of 24 and the four the 26 being a bust of 48 inches and a waist of 41 and a half so if you want to see the full video of me making the tablecloth dress and the pattern placement and everything you can join up to my members only vlog so i put one vlog out a month that's for members only it's 99p a month to join there's quite a few of you on there now and you get one exclusive vlog a month and that was an exclusive vlog but this is a picture of me wearing it um it was great fun to make um i bought a vintage tablecloth that had bits of embroidery missing it was quite a small tablecloth um but i got this top out of it and it's just lovely and it was just a really fun thing to do my next make was the make that i made in france so everyone got to choose a pattern and i chose the vn dress which is um a sort of it's a loose fitted buffet style tea dress with lots of swish and it has pockets what more could you need it works in all seasons, laid up with boots or just with sandals. It will become your go-to outfit. So it is tiered, but I wanted to make this into a winter dress, which was a stupid thing to do when it was very hot in France and everyone else was making swishy dresses that they could then take pictures of. So that was my error. But I literally made it up, but cut this bottom tier in half i made it from a uh, black lady mckelroy fabric cobra corsage um this goes from a bust of 32 waist of 24 and a half and hip of 35 inches up to a bust of 50 a waist of 42 and hip of 53 inches so Lightweight woven fabric with drapes such as viscose, crepe, linen and cotton. I'd used, I think it was a cotton lawn, so it has a lot more structure. I also didn't do this elbow sleeve. I lengthened the sleeve and then Donna sat with me and showed me how to shear the shear or shear the um, wrist. So I'll pop a picture in of me wearing it. So I came home from France and then styled it as I would in the winter. So I put a pair of tights and a pair of boots on. I put a belt round to just to break it up and cinch it in a little bit more. Um, and I'm really happy with it and I can't wait to wear it in the, the cooler months. So that was fine. Um but yeah really did enjoy making that and i think i will make a summer one i'm not one for this length of dress i'm only petite um and it, I, it just doesn't i don't think the lengths work on me when i tried the dress on with the two full tiers it just drowned me out i just it just doesn't work for me so I'm, i made the pattern work for me so i hope you like the result of that one i need a drink i've been doing all that talking i'm just really thirsty Whew. the next thing i made was also bought from tamlin in d stash and it is the size me sewing this isn't sponsored by Size Me Sewing, by the way. Um, this is the Florence blouse. So it's loose fitted with raglan sleeves. The deep shirred cuffs create dramatic shape to the wrist and add a feminine touch to this beautiful design. So this was slightly frustrating because I couldn't do the shearing. Um, but when I'd come back from France, because Donna had shown me how to do it, I could then finish this make. So 
this goes from a bust of 32 inches, waist of 24 and a half, hip of 35, and up to a bust of 50, waist of 42, hip of 53 inches. And it's got, uh, so the front is in two pieces, and then the sleeves are like a raglan sleeve, the darted, and then a sheared cuff there. Um, I used some cotton lawn from Minerva as part of their ambassador team. I got gifted this to make something up and um, I'll pop a picture in here of it. I, I really like it. It's quite dressy, so it'll be great for an evening. And um, yeah, I do like it. I do like it a lot. So the next thing I made was a ball gown for Newcastle Frocktails that I went to in July. Um, this make, I won't go into it too much because again, I've got a members only vlog that's gone up about this. It was a complete nightmare from start to finish. So it's a really good vlog to watch if you want to see how someone can rescue something from the brinks of disaster the pattern the construction and the fit of the pattern was perfect it was spot on the pattern itself and how much fabric so it told me i needed three and a half meters of fabric and i had four and i needed i reckon about six meters of fabric so i ended up with a half circle skirt rather than a full circle skirt but I think it looked fantastic I'll pop a picture in here of me on the night wearing it um I also made the sew over it bow bag in the matching fabric to go with it what a lovely little pattern that is for the scraps of your fabric it just finished the outfit off um, and it was a lovely little make as well. I made it on one of my socials and it took me two or three hours, but that's because I was talking. Um, but yeah, it's a great way to use the scraps up that are left from your projects. So as I say, if you want to watch that vlog in full, join up to my members only vlogs for 99p a month and you can watch that along with all the other ones that I've already recorded on there. God, I'm talking so much. Um, I didn't realise I'd made so much stuff, but um, obviously have. So the next um, thing I made was the Alex shirt, and this is from So Over It, but it's from their City ebook. Um, so Over It have about four different ebooks on there. They sometimes have discount off them, but the I've got two of them. I've got the Summer Dreaming ebook and I've got the City Breaks one. And you get about five basic patterns, but you can sort of interchange them. So sometimes the dress you can make as a separate top and skirt. Um, there's a jeans pattern. So in the City one, I think there's a jeans pattern that I've made there's um a stretch top that can also be made into a dress there's the alex shirt which i've made that you can also make into a shirt dress um i think there's a skirt and something else but they're really good so i'll link them down below and go over and, and have a look so they're, they're really good value for what the patterns that you get so the Alex shirt, I'll put a picture in here of it. It was a, obviously a PDF, so I printed it out. And at this moment in time, I can't access the sizes, but it's quite an oversized shirt. So it's a shirt. It doesn't have a collar stand. It has a collar. It's got a button placket. So you've got to do buttons and buttonholes. And then it's got a sleeve that's just hemmed because you turn up the cuff and then it's got... Um, a little fastening and I made this in a very quirky shirting from first for fabrics so it's like got a, it's white with a pinstripe through but then it's got little animals on that are like 
mismatch so it's like half a rhino head half a flamingo body that sort of thing so i'll try and put a close-up in but this is me wearing it so i popped it over the top of a vest because it is quite oversized um i think i would probably size down next time just to get it a little bit more fitted but i'm very happy with with it and i've worn it a good few times already so i'm happy with that one and the last thing that I made is the thing that I am wearing and it is the Boxy Raglan Tee from So Different Patterns. Um, it's just a boxy raglan sleeve. It's got a curved hem. It's got a faced neckline, but I always bias bind mine now. And I have made this in um, a Morris Strawberry Thief fabric from so fabrics in darlington so if i can get some pictures of it i will pop them in here um i've made a couple of these now they're for a woven fabric they're really boxy but they're because they're in cotton they're really cool on you can dress them up or down you can lengthen them i've made my mum one um she wears it all the time so i'll pop a picture in of what the pattern looks like here but it's just a really easy pattern that i just got printed out on a zero paper and it's just a front and a back a facing if you want to do that and two raglan sleeves so it's a really quick and easy palette cleanser if that's what you're into so this has gone on for quite a while i'm really sorry but they are my recent makes um I've just put out an autumn plans video either before or after this with only a few plans, but that'll be getting added to. So give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this and please subscribe if you don't already. And if you want to go over and subscribe to the members only vlogs, I'll put a link in the description box below so you can do that. Until next time. Bye.